Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Yawazim and today we will be creating a simple but responsive web page using HTML, CSS and a framework. Here our framework is going to be Bootstrap. At the end of the video, this is how our page will be looking like. This is a complete responsive page with toggle features. So let's get started. create a new file so over here the new file and let's save it and let me see it as over here as login page not HTML you need to keep the extension as HTML save so now HTML tab and over here this is the main syntax, the main body. This is something that is going to hold all the file of our web page. Let's call it as a login page and save. And as I told you at the beginning of the video that we will be using Bootstrap as a framework. So to do that, we have to use the Bootstrap documentation in this web page. Uh, and to do that, go to bootstrap.com and over here go to documentation and over here just go to CSS and over here here is a link that provides the CSS bootstrap documentation we have to copy that and we just have to paste that in our web page what this will does to our web page is that it will help us to copy all the features of the bootstrap in our web page directly now let's navigate to the place where I have saved this file which is over here and open this in a web browser so we have nothing so far over here as we have not written anything in our code except the bootstrap file only this title is over here now what we need to do is that we first will compare first will be comparing our login page to what we have to do and this is what we have to do so starting right from the basics we have a navigation bar over here and of course this is from the bootstrap documentation so now let's go to the bootstrap documentation which is over here and let's search a navigation bar and uh, scroll down and yes here is the navigation bar that i have used previously you can of course use any navigation bar according to your needs you can use this you can use this anyone so i will be using the same uh oh where it go where it go here it is so copy this from over here and we have to paste in our code inside the body yeah inside the body save it and go back to the page where it's over here refresh this and we got this thing over here the thing that we need to notice over here is that if we just minimize the tab this button is not working yet why this is not working is the fact is we have only included css in our file not the javascript so we need to go back to the bootstrap documentation and we need to search for the javascript file which is over here and we need to copy this as well so if we copy this over here and go back to our code and if we just copy paste it over here and save the file and go back to our page and refresh this if we now try doing this this is working yes this is working so now we as we can see our first part is almost done we only have to edit this part we will be doing this afterwards and now our next goal is to achieve this part now we will be working with scratch itself so going back to our code here it is uh, this is the navigation bar which we added earlier and now we have to work with the container so we'll be adding a div and we'll be giving it a class of container and as things are aligned in the form of rows so we will be also giving it a class of a row now since our form is aligned in the center it has some well-defined uh, geometry so we will be also adding the properties over here uh, which are the style that is a css properties 
So, first thing that is the width that how much part of the screen is this form taking and uh, let us go with 40 percent and we will be improvising this if needed. Uh, also, uh, we have some margin to be given to this and we will be adding the margin as 25 pixels uh, and let us go with auto. So, let us save this so far. What this means here is that we, are, we have added basically 4 margins, 25 pixels from top and bottom and auto on left and right. Uh, so the first thing uh, that is inside our container is an H3 as I told you earlier. So H3 and uh, we have over here as login page or whatsoever you are convenient with and also this is text align to the center so let's give it the text align uh, center now let's check it uh, where it is here let's refresh this uh oh where this is so we have done something wrong so let's go back to our code let's set text lines to the center. okay so the problem seems to be that this div is closing here but this h3 is supposed to be inside this div only then this style properties will be added to this so let's remove this from over here let's cut this and paste it over here save the file and go back and uh, we have this back to the center now if we go back to the sign up page what the problem uh, what the next part is that we have a form over here so we need to work with the form after this so after this h3 we will be adding a form uh, here is the form you can of course use the autocomplete so the form basically has two things the first is the method and the other is the action uh, basically we don't need any of these over here but i think it's my duty to explain the both of them to you the first is the method method is basically of two types the first is the get, get method the other is the post method we are here posting uh, the data so we will be using the method as post and action means that to which, to which page are you doing this particular action uh, let's say in many of the cases uh, you will be using this as this login uh, to this login uh, repository but we don't need it here so i'll be removing this from over here so if you go back to our web page, uh, the first thing is that we will be inputting a username and the second is a password. Now as we are able to see, once we click on either of the inputs, we get this nice blue border around the input and uh, things are arranged quite nicely. So for that we will be using a class called as form group which is of course from the bootstrap. So going back to our scratch, here is our form and inside our form first we will be adding a div and as i told you we will be working with a class of form group we don't have autocomplete for that so we will be completing it ourselves uh, from group g r o u p oh, okay now inside each div we have a label and uh, the label is first for username and uh, for a label we have input and the type is text uh, name is for what you're saving this let's also call this as us uh, username of course okay, go with, uh, let's go with username and after this we have also to give it as class of form control we got this auto field and we also have to add the auto focus which is auto focus and uh, we also need a placeholder uh, username so let's save it and go back to our form here it is refresh this part and yes we got this thing working over here now we need to add the same for a password so let's go back to scratch uh, and copy the same thing along with doing some improvisations the label here is password uh, and type is text uh, not text type is password 
remember to edit this thing and we will be saving it on the name of password as well and we need to edit the placeholder as password save this and now let's go back to our form refresh uh, this so we got a username we got a password now what we need to do is we need to add a button over here so to do that i will be going back to the bootstrap and i will be searching so here i found the buttons so uh, the so here is a list of the buttons with different colors and as in my demo i have gone with this success button so we will be using the class of btn success with it so let's go back to our scratch over here here this div completes so we need another div and uh, the class uh, uh, the class is again form control no form group and uh, we first need uh, a button and we need to give it a class class of a button button is large lg stands for large and button has this greenish color so success s u c c e s s and of course the button is gigantic so we will be using a block class and uh, the text inside is submit save it and let's go back to scratch uh, let's go back to our page uh, here it is refresh this and we got this submit button over here now what we need to do is uh, we need this sign up button and uh, the forget password over here so now we'll be working with these two things so after our form completes over here we will be adding the links to forget password and sign up so this is a paragraph and uh, the text is new here and inside this we will be adding an anchor tag with uh, we don't have to specify the link but we need to write a register here or oh, let's go with sign up save this and I'll also copy the same for forgotten password or oh. Uh, and inside this let's add recover here save this let's go back to our web page and refresh this and we got this sign up and recovery here as well now most of the work is almost done we only need to work on this editing features going back to scratch uh, over here is our navigation bar the first thing is to we need to edit the title of the navigation bar let's add it as text shenanigans s h e n a save this and after that uh, we have this home so let's keep it as home so let's change the link to categories and let's move to this drop down let's change the drop down to uh, authors or whatever you are convenient with uh, and the lastly we have this button disabled we don't have to fix this let's go back to our page refresh this and we have this now if we see if we click on this it don't take us anywhere so let's add a link for this as well over here we have to add the link for our website www.techshenanigans.com save this and go back to our page refresh this and now click on this and guess what it doesn't take us anywhere and why it doesn't take us anywhere the thing is that we need to alter this url properly what I mean here is that we need to specify the transfer protocol properly. So HTTPS column column and then the website. And now if we save this and go back to our web page, 
and you refresh this and now if we click on this this will definitely take us to the url that we have typed there so far to get the full code of this web page visit my github profile i have shared the link in the description if you like the video do subscribe the channel and like the video thank you